Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Marsha's Mush and Stuff. And today I am bringing to you a very simple DIY. Um, it's taken me a few weeks because I have been under the weather. But if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And for all of you who have already subscribed, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, I truly mean it. So, I did use supplies coming from the Dollar Tree, except for the stars at the end. Those were from Walmart. Um, I had bought some foam scatter, could not find it, so, and they would have bulged out. So, anyway, I started with one of those shadow box frames. Just simply, we've seen it so many times, popped everything right out of it. I actually turned the little kitty cat, it said, I... You're not single if you have a cat. I'm not single, I have a cat. Kept it and um, just glued on a magnet, guys. And it's the cutest. It's on my fridge right now. So anyway, I think I'm telling you how many popsicle sticks, but I did change this up. I did not include the blue. So what I did was took some jumbo popsicle sticks and then just marked them to the frame it was by no means perfect i don't think any diy is honestly um but you know that's what crafting is all about right so we get better as we go and hopefully i'm in frame here i'm on the floor as always and i just finished this up this morning so oh i'm just showing you that i had to cut each each craft stick to size and after I cut each craft stick, I went back and painted each craft stick. I started out with red, white, and blue. I painted the uh, frame there, the little shadow box from the Dollar Tree. After I popped everything out, I painted it white with white chalk paint. And I think I showed you that at the beginning. I was gabbing and I missed that part. <laughs> So, I'm messing with the camera right now. So, leave it alone, Marsha. You've got it. Okay, so we get it, girl. We get it. So, <laughs> cut them to size. Cut them to size. And then we're going to paint them, like I said, red, white, and blue. But, after I noticed I did not use the blue, I ended up using the red and the white and paint up more. And, you, it's so simple. You, you can either use a foam brush um some scissors i mean parent supervision is required if you let the ki kids get involved but it's a very kid friendly something you guys could sit down and do together with super glue instead of hot glue there's some options i did pick up um some of the paint from the dollar tree that came from walmart the red uh, apple barrel and i used the white chalk paint to be honest with you so that part's over thankfully because I went on too long about how to cut them so here I was a little torn should I cut the star I wasn't really all into the glitter should I just use that one that was what I was going to do and it ended up being too big so and then I was like hmm should I frame it out with the blue popsicle sticks that I did cut to size and I'm showing you again how I cut them to size <clears throat> even though we just went very in depth in that <laughs> okay so back at the ranch Marsha come on girl okay so anyway I'm just showing you how I had them all laid out ready to glue down so they've been laying out for a moment I just haven't gotten my glue gun out so the first one um, you want to be mindful of how of how you glue that first one down I you'll actually see me press on it here and that's when it goes kind of into the shadow box and I wish I had left it up because if you pay attention the end one is up a little bit and it's not that noticeable I mean that's just me being picky because it's mine <laughs> But what I end up doing after, so the first one's a bit tricky, like I said, to get down because you have to glue it in various spots. 
But then after that, it's a breeze. You just glue on the end of the craft sticks. And every once in a while, I'll flip it over and do some glue on the inside of the shadow box as well. So just showing you guys. And then I'm like, you know, this would be so much easier to glue down if I didn't have all these sticks here. So I remove them, get smart about it, think work smarter not harder right <laughs> so I take those off and now I'm starting to go in pattern and just showing you guys like all you need to do to the rest of them is just on the sides of each one you just pay, place a a dab of glue on the sides and glue it down and they well hey I'm still on the first one I told you guys I can't see so i'm still on the first one i want to make sure that one is extra secure this is the one i do press on um pretty good <laughs> i give it a good press and it kind of sinks down in but anyway you may not even notice it um you could flip it over you could use it that way and have this shadow box effect you could definitely add more um i think i'll i'll use the stars for garland I do show you at the end of the video, if you bear with me here, <laughs> I know I film some things that I think will be useful for you that end up, when I'm watching it, I'm like, why did I record so long on just, but I'm showing you, it's glued on, it's not falling off, it's not going nowhere, yay, first one down, a few more to go. And really, you, you just have to count out, you may need more, you may need less, but it's so simple, and like I said, super glue would work. Uh, maybe even school glue, guys. I mean, just have to be patient. You know, it's not going to give you that instant hold. But if you want to sit down and do something cute with the kids for Fourth of July, this is certainly something you could do, but not with hot glue. You don't want to get the hot glue gun out. It just gets too hot, and we've all burned ourselves a thousand times. So here you see I go on the inside just to make sure everything is nice and secure and snug. I don't want a bunch of lines, but I don't want them to overlap either. And so then I just continue on doing this um, red, white, red, white. I wish it had ended in red since I began in red, but because I pressed down so snugly on that first one it didn't end that way but that's okay that's the way i had it laid out so i'm about to show you the reveal so here we go there's what it en ends up looking like so you see i started with red end it with white and now i have decided after all those stars i cut one out and i'm just going to glue it on the top to make me a little flag so, yes, um, I have not made my wreath yet, which is not as kid friendly, but you can get the kids involved. I'm going to do a rag wreath because I was a bit late on getting the mesh, <laughs> even though I had it in my hand and put it back. I don't know why I did that, but I'm just gluing down this blue star, which is a bit glittery, but that's okay because... When I think Star Spangled Banner, I think sparkly, you know, fireworks, glitter, shimmer. So, I, I really like this one. It's, like, really so easy. And, guys, I will be honest. I will probably repurpose this and make something else, like possibly a lantern. <laughs> I love these shadow boxes and I end up uh, just re-gluing the star but that's what it looks like. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys all my patriotic things I've done and some different ideas that you guys can do as well. So coming up here we go. So I use these beautiful roses red white and blue that I found at Dollar Tree and a um, dollar I hauled this in one of my hauls flag I mod podged it onto a white painted chalk painted um, mason jar um, you could take these and glue them on to skewers or even um, dowels or you could just place them like I did right there but didn't leave it 
but these are some options for you guys and um but that was so simple just mod podge and i put a little red bow around around it you can use twine you guys can use whatever you want you can do it however you want just want it to be patriotic with everyone else <laughs> well i'm i am very patriotic so let me take that back so um here's one that is just blue and white so if you don't want to go like over the top you can just place the dial and secure it to this little blue star i will probably end up making a um i can't even think not a banner but like a swag type of thing with these <laughs> i can't think of what it's called right now or you can pop these white flowers out and put red and white and then you have your red white and blue and how cute is that and then you can also add a star you know a blue star just to make it pop and it's a hanging lantern and that also came from the dollar tree they had them in red as well I'm not sure if they still have them but yeah I put a blue star right there and that will give you a pop of blue but like I said you can you know you can attach these to dowels to like really stick down in there or in any of your outdoor decor so there we have two different ways to style um, your vases vases and our little flag I think it came together quite well and very patriotic so if you did enjoy this video please give me a big thumbs up greatly appreciate it and you if you have not already subscribe sub, I can't talk subscribe please ring that bell guys God bless thank each and every one of you I hope you guys have a wonderful day bye oh that's where I live by the way <laughs>